Okay, my apologies for further computer problems. Entirely my fault. Some sort of power problem here, guys. Even though everything else seems to be working fine. Yes. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. What is this? Press a button. Hey, press a button. It looks like a headphone jack. Yeah, it does. Or a very sketchy television. Maybe it's an amplifier. Plug a guitar into it. Ooh. Rock music. That's right, Lighthouse the Musical. Dark music. Very dark music. Oh, I just picked up something. Um, no comment. Comment about what? He left out of mind. Oh, I hate being left out of jokes. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I didn't get anything. <laughs> it was for the best here. Oh. Okay. So, this is probably the view. Or something. Put this, in, put this very phallic looking object into this thing here. Alright. Let's try that one. Let me try. May 25, 6 p.m. Perhaps I have been unwise in allowing the creature frequent access to my laboratory. Our mutual curiosity seemed reason enough at the time, but now I am uncertain. Since his first appearance, the creature has been waiting for me every time I activate the portal into his world. He would watch me work or study the equipment, but he never touched anything or interfered in any way. I must have become accustomed to his presence because today, after opening the gate and watching the creature cross over, I focused my attention on my work. When I looked up from the computer, he was gone. Upon examining my equipment, I discovered that a power modulation tube was missing. Although the tubes are expensive, I have several spares, so the loss is not too serious. I am concerned the creature's motivation may go beyond mere curiosity. Though his action does not necessitate curtailment of my experiments, I will restrict his access to my laboratory. So, Saturday, what do you think of that picture? Looks like my Uncle Ted. Interesting. I do not want to meet your uncle. That's unfortunate. May 27, 3 a.m. I have built a cage around the portal so that the creature cannot wander freely about the lab. When I opened the portal earlier this evening, he was not waiting on the other side. No doubt, he realized that I must have learned of his thievery and hesitated to show himself again. I pretended to be absorbed in my work. After a few minutes, I caught a peripheral glimpse of a shadow crossing the portal into the cage. I turned toward him. The creature did not appear disturbed by the cage. He crouched on his haunches and stared at me without expression. Though I felt uneasy, I forced myself back to work. The minutes passed slowly. Finally, it was time to shut off the power to the gate. When I reached for the switch, the creature leapt across the portal. Obviously, he understands some of what I do and knew his escape route was threatened. We have been unable to communicate, but I am beginning to think there may be deeper, more devious aspects to his intelligence. June 14, 2 p.m. It has been over a week since I last saw the creature. He has returned less often since I built the cage over the portal. I am continuing my work to stabilize the energy field, thus far without success. 
Now that I am not constantly watched by the creature, I have a revitalized energy enabling me to work straight through most nights. The lack of sleep makes me irritable, a mood that must be contagious as Mandy is unusually ill-tempered as well. I'm sure our new neighbor must think us both a bit peculiar, though our infrequent exchanges have been pleasant enough. Since Diana's death, I have had little interest in such things as friends. Perhaps that is not entirely healthy, though now I have no time for such thoughts. I digress, probably due to my long hours. Hopefully, soon I will have results to show for my labors. Aww, friends. July 7, 11 p.m. A breakthrough. I added a new parameter which eliminated the instability factor. The equation now allows for the possibility of a permanent gateway, stable for an indefinite period of time. I am feeling ill, and I am afraid my lack of sleep is clouding my judgment. The final modifications on the equipment must keep until tomorrow morning. July 7, 2 a.m. My worst fears have come true. The dark being has somehow copied my device and has created its own portal between the worlds. I awoke to the unmistakable electric snap of the portal closing. That thing has been in my lab. It has stolen more equipment and, to my horror, my blueprints for the gate device. I am such a fool. I am preparing to follow it through. I will only have an hour before the gate closes, and I do not know where the creature has gone. I have been so blind, doing nothing while it has schemed to steal my invention. I must stop it. I must destroy its gateway into our world. Oh, dear God, let me be in time. Okay. So, Dark Being. Is it so evil? Seems like it just stole a few things. Hey, not worse than someone stealing Facebook. Yes, not different than if someone stole Facebook. I can see that. I don't know. I mean, interdimensional travel seems to be a new thing for this creature as well. There should be some leniency. Sorry. Screwdriver. Or Sonic screwdriver. Ooh. Now we can face anything. Do anything. <laughs> I think it's a soldering gun. Oh. Those ah. are pretty cool too. Yeah, yeah, they melt me. That's cool, but okay. Anyways, back to what we were doing. What were we doing? Not much. through the portal next video that might be a bit optimistic oh. we'll try thanks for watching folks <laughs>